See you, Ralphs. There. Yep. All right, this is Adam Wicks for GoPSUSports.com. I'm here with uh, men's lacrosse head coach Jeff Tambroni and uh, coach. Been been talking to a couple of the guys, seeing everybody in the locker room. Everybody's excited to be out here. Uh, what are you? Uh, what are you feeling on the first day of practice? You know, it just seems like this day is a long time coming. The guys have worked real hard in the last couple of weeks to prepare themselves for the first day of practice and uh, just trying to make some some internal changes with this this particular group. And uh, they've been very receptive and. Uh, to see him come in here on Sunday morning, awful excited to go out there and compete and practice and, and start the uh, the year off fresh is, is pretty exciting for our coaching staff and uh, seems to be pretty exciting for our guys. So we're just looking to get out there and just start to get the ball rolling and uh, kind of see what we have, uh, you know, both in the offense and defensive end. But, uh, you know, it's the first step of the journey and we're awful excited to begin it. Yeah, what are the... Um... No, you said the players. The players were excited to get out here. Um, you excited? I know you've obviously been been meeting them in the past couple months, and some new faces have been coming in. And what do you think of, of the uh, the chemistry of the team you got going on so far? Yeah, it seems like a great group of guys. We're really excited. Our coaching staff has been very impressed uh, with the cal caliber of character, uh, with their work ethic over the last couple of weeks. But to be very honest with you, this is our first time having the chance to watch them play today. So. You know, it's going to be an evaluation process straight through uh, in all positions, in all areas, and in all facets of the game. And we're trying to implement a brand new system with these guys, uh, most of which they, they haven't done in the past, not for good or for bad, but just going to be a little bit different. Uh, so I think it's going to be important for us to do a good job of making sure that we're teaching the right way and hopefully building that chemistry day in and day out. And I think if we can do that, uh, we'll be in good shape before the fall ends. I know it's I know it's early to be thinking about this, but um, come the spring, when when a um, a Penn State lacrosse fan comes and and checks out a game, what's the uh, what's the biggest thing you think they're going to see this year that that might be different in years past, or that you're going to bring to the table? You know, I think our goal is, and, and not so much different from years past, but I think our goal is just to uh, give someone. Uh, that comes out to a Penn State lacrosse game, uh, the opportunity to be proud of, of the product that we are, are going to attempt to represent. And I know that, uh, you know, Penn State Athletics, Penn State University is synonymous uh, with success in so many areas. And uh, there's so much pride to be at an institution like, like Penn State. And we're going to do our part and work very hard to, uh, to create a product that, that our fans, our alumni, our students can be proud of. And we're hopeful that when you come out, you see a team that competes for each other, that competes very hard for the brand of Penn State and then is excited to uh, to do so and uh, you know I can't guarantee that we're going to win games but we're certainly going to work very hard to create uh, some excitement around the sport of lacrosse and hopefully uh, the fans will want to come out but, uh, but we understand that we have to do our part to give them something uh, to be excited about and give them a reason to be in those stands. All right thanks coach have a good practice. Great thanks Adam. All right, here with Matt Bernier, senior defender for the men's lacrosse team. First day of practice, Matt. Uh, what do you, what do you, what's going through your mind right now? What are you looking forward to? Uh, really looking forward to just basically seeing everybody going really hard on the field again in full pads. It's been a while. We've had some captain practices, but with that, it's never the intensity it's going to be when you have the coach out there and uh, especially a new coach out there. Everybody's playing basically for the first time that he's going to going to see for the first time. So everybody's going to be going real hard. Yeah, and speaking speaking of the new coach, um, what is what is Coach Tambroni showed you guys already? What are you uh, what are you guys excited about for uh, for him to bring bring to the table here? Um, my, I'm I'm most excited about the fact that he's uh, he's really really down with uh, changing the culture up here, and that's huge because that needed to happen in order for us to um, get to the goals that we wanted to get to. And he's done a really good job of it, inspiring a lot of people, and uh, being really just a great leader for us. Yeah, um, coming in as a senior, you know, you've been here for for a few years now. Um, setting some goals for the season. What do you What do you guys, as a senior class, want to want to see this year? And what do you guys want to leave whenever you leave here in the in the spring? We want to leave a legacy that we're proud of. We want to be able to walk off the field in the last game, where whenever that game is, and be proud of what we did, and think that we what we came here to do and help Penn State turn a corner, and be that class that changed the culture of Penn State and maybe uh, pave the way for a lot of uh, kids to come after us and make a large amount of success here for the Penn State lacrosse team. Coming in as a, uh, as a leader on the defense, obviously 
you guys went through a little bit of a, of a change last year with the goalie situation and, and everything like that. Um, what are you looking for from the defense specifically this year? Defense this year, um, I'm really looking forward or looking for us to have a lot more uh, lacrosse IQ out there. Last year, we basically were running around like chickens like a head cut off, and we didn't really know what we were doing a lot of games. You can see it in film if you ever see it, and we really have to uh, get our lacrosse IQ up a lot. We here with uh, Matt McCready's first day of fall men's lacrosse practice. And Matt, uh, what's it like to be to be gearing up for another season, getting ready to put the pads on again? Uh, it's great. It's uh, It's been a long four months, long summer. Uh, I know uh, most of the team is ready to go. And, you know, we want to we wanna get back out there and put the gear on and get going a little bit, get some running up and down the field and stuff like that. Yeah, obviously um, the big thing this year, new, new coach coming in, something they haven't been able to say in uh, Penn State lacrosse for a long time. So uh, what are you guys expecting out of Coach? What are you looking forward to? Um, what are some of the unique things that you think he brings to the table from a, uh, from a player's perspective? Uh, I mean, he's already, uh, he's already done a lot in just the first two weeks that we've been here as a team. Uh, you can tell we've really come together as a team already, and uh, he brings a lot to the table. He's one of the best coaches in college lacrosse, and uh, he brought a great two uh, assistant coaches also, and Coach Doctor and Coach Turner. So... Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's great this year. With it's, it's I don't know what we really are expecting for this first practice. We're all kind of a little nervous for this practice, but uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be different. It's going to be uh, it's going to be good. I won't say it's going to be better because I don't know yet, but uh, it's going to be good. Cool. Um, so coming in, you've been uh, you gotten a good amount of playing time since you got here as a freshman. Now that you're kind of a junior, taking on that upperclassman role, yep. um, taking on a little bit more leadership. What are you looking to provide for the team this year? Uh, yeah, like you said, I want to I want to provide some leadership. Um, don't want to overstep my boundaries here with the seniors. I don't want to uh, go up there and be the the rah rah guy because we got a few guys in the senior class that can do that. Um, but on the offensive end, I want to be a leader and and uh, really bring the uh, freshmen and and sophomores up to speed and get them going a little bit. It's all changed for us this year. Uh, I, I don't know what coach has done. I don't. I'm not on the same page as coach. We're all uh, going into this, into this thing together. So. It's, uh, yeah, I want to be a leader, but uh, I just got to take my time and go with the team here. A lot of, a lot of young attack men coming up yep. and, and Gribben and those guys from last year and some new guys coming in. You guys looking forward to having having that kind of youth on the offensive side of the ball and that you know, worked for you guys last year. So yeah, absolutely. build on yeah. that. Youth is, is a good thing in this sport. Um, um, although we don't have much experience, we um, we can figure it out and – it's gonna it's gonna be good with the young guys coming in. We got a bunch of good young freshman attackmen, and it'll be a good year for us on the offensive end. All right, thanks, Matt. Thank you.